Hi, a website that appeared on my uh, my radar a few days ago is something called Wii Games, and that can be found over at www.wiigames.com. That's W-E, not W-I-I. It's absolutely sod all to do the, the console. Um, basically, this is a website that's trying to be the YouTube for gamers. But in addition to uh, providing somewhere that you can upload your uh, machinima uh, videos. Uh, it provides some software that does the functionality of Fraps for free. Um, the, di the major difference is that it only supports DirectX and their, uh, their actual application has got a small amount of games that it does support. Um, major ones that it has support for would be the likes of the newer Battlefield games, uh, Call of Duty, Crisis, World of Warcraft, uh, it claims StarCraft, however, I've tried installing StarCraft and then installed Brood Wars and it hasn't actually worked. Um, basically, the way you can tell that it's worked is over by the corner you get a little green square. Uh, that was just missing. Um, I couldn't find that at all. Uh, it's got a few others. You can do Guitar Hero with it. Um, Halo is supported, Portal, it's got Miss Gaming, um, which I'm, I'm not quite sure just what that is. I think that's more for their uh, for, the, uh, for ones that people have done using Fraps rather than using their little application. Um, the major difference is that theirs is free, Fraps you have to pay for, but Fraps isn't that much and you, in my eyes Fraps is a lot better, but then again Fraps have a lot more development time. Um, the, uh, once, you, uh, once you've signed up and created your account on there, you can grab a copy of their software, install it. It's pretty simplistic. Uh, I'll show you the, the actual interface just now. This is the interface. Quite simple. There's where all your videos are stored. Little settings interface tells you where it saves it to, what hotkey it is to start recording, turning off sound, and two different uh, qualities of video. Nothing much to it really. Then it hides in the uh, in the tray manager. So as you can see, the interface is pretty simple. Um, very little that you can go wrong with. Uh, video that you do record will appear in that main panel, and you can, you've got little buttons that you can click on uh, to upload directly that video to their site um, without doing any kind of imaging or post production on it. So that that's going to be for quick snaps for um, you know for stuff that you, you've not really put that much effort into, it's just purely game footage. Um, from what I've, uh, I've been made aware, when you're uploading from within that application, there's no limit on the upload, um, so it can be as long as you want or as big as you want. Uh, when you're uploading from their website, it is limited to your traditional 10 minutes, or actually I should double check that email. Um, yeah, it's limited to 10 minutes or 100 meg, whichever comes first. Uh, there's also another limitation in their help file that mentions you can't use WMV Series 9 encoding at the moment, um, so you're left having to choose a, a different AVI format. My eyes is that's going to probably be the likes of uh, DivX. Um, when I'm looking at the files that it's produced, in the web format it dumps out um, an MPEG file that is 640 by 512 um, and about a minute's worth took up 122 meg, so that's not too bad. Uh, it's not great, but it is effectively it's a raw format. All the all your uh, all your stuffs there. It's not really done that much in the way of encoding, which is probably why it's the marketing it has been less of an impact on your system performance than Fraps is. But I've noticed it, it's pretty much roughly similar anyway. Um, I do recommend when you, you're saving your, uh, your, you know, changing the settings, I recommend you save the video files to a hard drive that isn't your operating system um, drive, that way you'll get the best in, uh, performance. When I select the HD format, um, my system took a kick in the balls with the performance, however, my system's about three years old now, and I've recently had to sw switch over to a hard drive that I think has got issues and sis uh, things that... I never had problems with, I've got slowdown with, so I, I think that's partially tainted by my system being a bit on the shit side now. Um, when you do select HD, the size of the video is, the actual resolution is 1024 by 819. They are a bit on the odd side kind of uh, sizes. Uh, about 39 seconds with that took up 222 megs worth of address space, so you can see just how much it is taking. 
Um, as I said, as I said just before, it it is limited on the uh, on the number of games that it supports. Uh, I have had it confirmed to me now that StarCraft isn't supported. It's purely there as an actual um, video category. So stuff you've record, you know, stuff you've recorded through other means, you can upload to there. So that's that's nice to at least have it uh, confirmed. The um, I emailed them just not long ago, and I got a reply within five minutes. So it's they're quite punctual there. There's looks like they've got a lot of energy going into it. The uh, as I mentioned, the application itself is quite slick for being able to transfer straight in through there. Um, however, the uh, your professional machinima producers they're going to be sticking to fraps and they're going to be doing the post production and probably uploading through the net or they're going to be dumping the files into the uh, the actual folder and uploading through the application uh, which gets rid of the, uh, the the limitations so I've got a feeling they're using FTP with that transfer so if you've got issues with um, FTP traffic that potentially might have an effect I don't know um, it's just pure assumption here that it's using FTP but usually you find that it's those restrictions on 10 meg, uh, sorry, 10 minutes or 100 megs worth of footage. Um, that's usually down to the actual web server itself. Uh, I've not uploaded anything just yet, so I don't know what the performance is like for the actual transfer rates, and I don't know what the performance is like for the the actual uh, re-encoding from whatever format you've used into the flash um, footage. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what that's like. If you've got any experience, please let me know. I'd be interested to find out just what that what that's like for you. Um, the actual website itself, it looks like it's pretty much the same as um, as YouTube. You've got like uh, embedding features, um, so you can put it straight into your own web page. Um, it's got it's all it's all strung out by game, so you can you know if you just want to have a look at other crisis. Uh, videos for example, you just have to click on that, you don't have to do any search based on tags um, although I'm pretty sure you can probably add tags as well if you're uploading via the, the actual, uh, let's just have a quick look um, upload now, let's see what options we have um, browser video, um, yeah, WMV support coming momentarily um, ah yeah, it does actually mention that it supports AVI, MPEG or MOV files so MPEG-4 supported there, uh, 10 minutes and 100 meg um, on the video limits for the web in, uh, web upload. So it, it is it's not listed in the help file, but um, there you go. Uh, the site it does look quite cool. It's um, nice and nice and slick, and uh, the software when you open it up will automatically update itself. So you don't have to be constantly downloading a separate one and installing. It will check for you. Um, definitely one to keep your eye on. It's a star that's going to be constantly rising. And um, if you've got any experience with it, let me know. Toddle over to www.pissednurse.com. I'd love to hear from you. Until then, I'm going to finish this uh, this podcast out with some of the footage that I've taken from Warcraft 3 using the two different uh, two different formats. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye. Small little point to make out to you guys, if you want to record the in-game audio, remember to remove any microphones from your system. That includes webcams and various other items like that, because you can't select the input source and it seems to grab that instead of the in-game action.